So I stopped in through this museum and I wanted to point out some things to you because this is a uh, human body that's been exposed to a plastinate process. In other words, they, they take uh, human tissue and then they plasticize it so that it kind of freezes everything in time. And, uh, and, and so you can kind of look at what the structures will look like in the human body um, over, you know, extended periods of time. Like this thing has probably been made here and it's probably been here for the last few years versus a cadaver doesn't definitely doesn't last that long. So you can see there's a lot of things that you can see, like they, they've cut away uh, the ventral part of the body. So, of course, the belly is gone. Um, the uh, sternum and the front ribs are gone and everything. But you can see some of the organs here, like you can see the lungs that are there on both sides. And you can see the heart that's located here. Um, this coloration has been changed, so it might be a little difficult to tell one organ from the other. But there's the heart, and that's the auricle that's located right here. So that would be the right auricle. So with that being the right auricle, that means that these tubes would be the ascending aorta and the superior vena cava coming down into the heart. And then below here, you can see the diaphragm. And one of the things I want to point out with the diaphragm there is you can see that white lining that's there. That white lining uh, is, is actually a membrane that is there to keep things from rubbing uh, organs uh, against one another. So the diaphragm is separating the thoracic cavity from the uh, abdominal cavity. Then we get down here and here's the liver. And people ask all the time, they're like, why is it that um, one of the lungs looks like it's shorter than the other? And that's because you've got the liver that happens to be over here on the right side. Because remember, when you're talking about anatomy, um, it's never your right, it's the right of the patient. So that's right and that's left. And so most of the liver is over here on the right side of the body. So it has to make room for uh, the, you know, has to make room for the liver down there. So even though you have three lobes to, uh, to this lung and two lobes to that lung, uh, these guys are pretty big and this is kind of pushed together. So you got the, the liver there and then you can see the stomach kind of peeking out here and then you've got the large and small intestine kind of balled up here. So just wanted to take a quick moment to just introduce you to some structures that you typically see in your labs a lot of anatomy and physiology labs these days have moved to like, you know, plastic models so you don't get a chance to see the real thing and compare them to the plastic models that you typically use every day. So if you like what you saw, uh, remember to hit the like button, uh, remember to subscribe and share this with your friends.